we at, baby? Ram gang. Yo. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> I'm talking loud because my air was up or whatever, but how y'all doing, everybody? It's such a beautiful, such a brutal, brutal, blessed day, man. Just a brutal, brutal, blessed day. Ram gang, all day, every day. You already know, they don't play. The haters gonna say a whole bunch of negative stuff, but we know we gonna just move that out the way because we already know that today is our day. And that ran. Oh, <laughs> Okay, we still here? Hey. And that ran. You wanna know how it ran? Because I ain't trying to make it. But anyway, um, effortless swag, effortless lyrics, effort, effortless just everything with me, you know. Um, well, let's touch down to the Super Bowl halftime. You know, the Super Bowl halftime was fire! The Super Bowl halftime was fire. From Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre opening it up, doing their thing. And then you have Mary J. Blige coming in there, kicking it, doing what she do, doing her little Mary J. Bop. Ah, 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 ah. Her little Mary J. Bop, killing it. But she scared me though at the end of her performance when she had fell down flat like that. Cause you know, Mary like in her fifties. So I was like, was this a part of the the whole show or you know, did she so somebody should probably check on Mary. I'm serious. But when I saw her back up, I was like, ah, look at Mary! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I was getting, I was feeling I want I couldn't really enjoy it the way I wanted to because the Rams just up by three, and I feel like they should have been up by more. And then my man OBJ, you know, he took an injury last night, you know, with his uh, his knee again with his ACL, I think. It wasn't nothing serious because he was still standing up, so it wasn't nothing serious. You know, thank God for that, you know, because he was on the sideline standing up, but he couldn't, he couldn't come back out and play. But he did score one touchdown. He scored the first touchdown for the Rams. He started it off. He kicked the tempo off. But when he got hurt, it was like the team just sort of just, you know, it like the confidence kind of went down just a bit. And I'm like, I'm screaming at too. I'm like, y'all got to come on, man. Y'all got to, this motivation with Odell Beckham being hurt, y'all got to use this motivation to kick the rest of the game off and go hard. And I ain't understand because the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals, they shouldn't even been in the Super Bowl. And they defense looking the way they looked it. Because of the Rams offense was playing like the line was playing like straight garbage. The um the Los Angeles Rams, my Los Angeles Rams offensive line was looking so garbage to the point I'm thinking like, did somebody pay them under the table before this game? The do this? Like it looked that bad, cause how you gonna go from playing against the Bucks, blocking your ass off and just, you know, just doing your thing, just looking good. And you go against the Bengals, and you ain't even blocking half-ass blocking. I mean, people act like they didn't even know what play, what who to block. It's like it had a whole brand new, fresh offensive lineman that didn't know what to do, and they would just call them plays, and they were like, "Man, we just gonna block whoever we feel that's right there in front of us." Like they didn't even know really know like, who to block, and they couldn't even block. So I'm mad as hell because I'm like, "Yo, what the hell is going on with the Rams' O line?" and if I was like a football player and I'm on a defensive line, you know how frustrating that got to be for your offensive line not to be doing a damn thing and you got to keep going back out there and trying to save it, save the game by getting the other team's offensive line to turn it over? You know how hard that is? You know how hard defense is compared to offense? The only thing they got to do is run, just block. Defense, they got to get the man with the ball. And to consistently have to do that after your O line just keeps turning it over, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like they keep turning the damn ball over, man. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, this ain't the Rams O line. And um, shout out to Chris Hardenworth. I don't know if I'm saying like he the offensive lineman. I'm not gonna blame him. You know, it's just the rest of his guys, they weren't doing shit. You know, so I don't know what was wrong with them. But shout out to Chris Hottenworth because he get back, you know, to the community with black kids and everything like that. And um, I really feel like Chris Hottenworth, 
I'm probably saying his name wrong, or whatever. But the offensive lineman for the Rams, like, I really, I really love what he's doing for the community and um giving back to kids, especially black kids. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, by him being a white dude doing that, you know, and not trying to get a tax write off, I feel he ain't. Cause he, I mean, I just feel like you know he he could be he one of those rare, um, uh, real, you know, people you like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, shout out to shout out to him, man. But anyway, back to what I was saying, man. The Super Bowl halftime was lit. And you had 50 Cent. He was hanging upside down. And I was like, I had to look twice because I didn't really know if it was 50. Because they didn't even announce it. It was like a surprise. So when I say 50, I'm sorry, I'm like, that, I think it's 50. I heard somebody saying, go, go. I'm like, did they put a chubby 50 on here? Like, that ain't 50. I'm like, oh, that is 50. And I looked at it. He had got from hanging upside down. I'm like, no, nah, he ain't fat. His arms look a little bit chubby. But here's the thing, people. When you on TV, that camera lens is the devil. It will lie on you like no other. It will make you look bigger or fatter or whatever or chubbier than you actually are. So camera lens and the camera until you see these people in person do not go by off you know don't do not go by how the way they look and thinking that that's that's their size when they're on tv because that camera lens is the devil i hate it it needs to be shot in anything but a damn lie you need to get rid of all camera lens that make people bigger than what they appear i mean i don't even think it's a camera lens; it's a magnifying lens and it just got some shit in it that just you know just want to lie on people you know what I'm saying? I don't like that because it made me look bigger than what I am. It made me look, you know, fat. And I'm not fat at all. At all. You know what I'm saying? I got I'm athletic built. I'm 6'4. You know, but this ain't about me. I'm just saying. Live to the camera toe on 50 cent. You know? Because we was up there performing, you know what I'm saying? And I was getting like performing the classics to get Richard Dine in the club. You can find me in the club, about to fill the buzz. Look, mommy, I got what you need if you need to fill the buzz. I'm in there having sex, I ain't in there making love. So come give me a hug, end up getting rough. You know what I'm saying? I know that whole song. But, and then you got, uh, had Eminem killing it. You know, doing a lose yourself. <gasps> in, a, in a beat, mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. Yeah, I'm killed it. And you know, we got Kendrick Lamar. And Kendrick Lamar did his thing, too. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. But honestly, I felt like it should have been another legend in replacing him. It shouldn't have been Kendrick Lamar performing with all of them. It just, it just looked weird. It just looked crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get that he on the West Coast. And, you know, he got he got connections with Dr. Dre. But what does that have to do when you got nothing but legends and it's just him, which is our generation, my generation? Because Kendrick Lamar the same age as me. I'm 31. He's running around that area. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, man. It should have been somebody like either... Uh, Busta Rhymes or Ice Cube or LL Cool J. LL Cool J. LL Cool J should have been up there, you know. And um, what was the Tupac hologram? Didn't they say that it was supposed to be a Tupac hologram? Am I am I tripping? Am I tripping? Where was the Tupac hologram? Didn't see it. <laughs> Didn't see it. And I was looking hard at, the, at, at, at every specific detail in that halftime show. Did not see the Tupac hologram that was promised that it was going to be on the Super Bowl halftime show. What's up with that? Choir minds want to know. What happened to the Tupac? What happened to the Tupac hologram? Did Dr. Dre set to make a last minute decision? Be like, no, 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 we ain't gonna, you know, we're gonna keep the Tupac hologram off. Like, what happened? And we ain't gonna just, matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna title this. What happened to the Tupac hologram at the Super Bowl halftime? It's crazy, man. So I might have made a last minute decision. They probably had a Tupac hologram ready. Probably had it all shined up and had it looking real as hell. I'm going to Tupac hologram. <clears throat> hey, huh? Yeah, yeah, we ain't gonna, um, we ain't gonna put the Tupac hologram. 
We ain't gonna put the Tupac hologram like I did all this while I'm shining Tupac up and having all of you know what I'm saying, having looking as real as possible. And you mean to tell me that we ain't gonna put the Tupac hologram? They said we were supposed to have a Tupac hologram. The people wanna see the damn Tupac hologram. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. I was mad, you know what I'm saying? But that madness turned to a smile. When the Rams won the Super Bowl, baby! They kept holding. They were holding our wide receivers. And, and the referee finally did their job because they had to make up for that bullshit with that Jalen Ramsey thing. You know, with Jalen Ramsey, uh, when he was like defending the uh the, the uh Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver, that dude had Jalen Ramsey mask and swung it down and caught the ball and, and, and um and scored it for a touchdown, and the damn refs didn't throw not one flag. I said these cheating back. So you know they had to make up for it, right? Oh yeah. They had to make up for that shit. Cause when the Rams was in the red zone, you know, defense, when um when uh Matthew Stafford had only just uh Coop to throw it to, the dude held his jersey and it was clear as daylight. The refs called that one. And then Cincinnati did something else, they was holding again, they was passing the film. The refs called that one. So they had to make up. For that bullshit that they didn't call. And the Rams won by three. Like real niggas do. Huh? Ram game. Everybody was hating against us. Everybody. We did it. OBJ, you did it, boy. You got you a ring and a newborn on the way. Blessings. My favorite wide receiver, and I'm not being biased, I'm just telling the truth. The world was against, well, not the world, because I wasn't. But the media was against him and saying all kind of shit about him in Cleveland. When it was nothing but Baker Mayfield fought, because Baker Mayfield is trash. And when you got a trash quarterback and don't know how to throw, and you already got haters already against the wide receiver, the star wide receiver, that just shit pile on top of shit. And that shit is the hate and there's more shit added to it, piled on top of that with the extra hate, because you know why? They wanted to make Odell Beckham a damn target in Cleveland. But when he got to L.A., my guy said, hey, man, I got a plan for you. We going out here to L.A. First season, Super Bowl win. Hey, man, that's all I got to say. That's how we going to end this video. We ain't making it. We ain't making it too long. Live, love, laugh. Stay military minded. Stay dangerous. Stay positive. Keep God first. Don't fear nothing. Nobody, period. You already know what time it is. It's Sensei TV, the best YouTube channel. And it is. And if you ain't here, you need to subscribe to be here to listen to this great message I'm spilling. The game that I'm spitting. Nothing but Jews on top of Jews on top of Jews. I give you nothing but the greatest. Nothing but the motherfucking greatest. And we out, baby. Y'all have a good one. Holla at y'all tomorrow. Peace.